Hello, this is Ben Summers from Morris Hillman Productions. I'm currently filming in a back lane in Enmore, and the reason for that is to do with the house which is in front of the camera. It belonged to Elizabeth Riby, who was one of Mary, Mary Riby's daughters. Mary Riby, if you don't know who she is or was, um, is, the little, is the little old lady in the bonnet on the $20 note. Um, the, 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 the picture of her on the current $20 note actually doesn't really resemble her, and this does annoy me a little bit, um, because it's just not historically accurate. Anyway, the house you see before you was built for her daughter Elizabeth Riby. It was built between 1847 and 1855, I believe. Um, Mary Riby is a very is a very interesting character. She lived like she had the typical rags. She had the archetypal rags to riches story. She was born in England in 1777, and she was transported out here to um, the, the then colony of New South Wales, which at the time took up the entire East Coast. Um, in 1790, at the age of 13, she was obviously charged with theft and was thus, thus a convict. Um, she, in, when she was an adult, she married Thomas Riby, who, um, and, who had an, an import-export business. And when he died in 1811, she took over. Um, and she was familiar with the ins and outs of the business um, because in the years before, when Thomas Riby had been away, she'd actually stood in for him as um, as the manage as the um, uh, managing the the business. Riby the elder, so Mary Riby, died in 1855, the age of 78, which is pretty, which is a pretty long life to have lived for someone in the Victorian era. Um, certainly living to 78 years old was probably not very common because, you know, you know poor health and hygiene uh, meant that life expectancy was naturally, uh, was, um, naturally reduced as a result. Um, Elizabeth Riby only lived here for nine years from 1855 to 1864 when the house was sold to James Pemmel. James Pemmel was a baker and his bakery in, or well, the facade of his bakery in the, um, in the city actually still stands and you can go and visit it. It's um, uh, not far from George Street, uh, near, it's very close to Christchurch St. Lawrence, which is another historic building that might, that might be the subject of its own video in the future. Um, Pemmel and his family uh, owned the building until I think about 19 owned, Pemmel and his family owned the old Riby home uh, just here. Um, until about 1901, and then it was sold to then it was sold to become shops, and then later apartments in the 1930s. And it still is apartments today. Um, as you can see, the building is in externally poor condition, though it is a remains a, though it remains a remarkable survivor from that time, and is a really interesting link to. Um, a pioneering, a pioneering businesswoman, who I feel has a really interesting story to tell. Um, Mary Riby was definitely a trailblazer um, in her time. Anyway, that's the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one, folks. All right, bye for now.